Good morning everyone, it's Sunday, it's range test time and today we have the Škoda Enyaq 85X, that's the all-wheel drive version of the new Škoda Enyaq uh, 85. I had the 85 a few months ago and this has not the combination that the ID4 GTX has where you get the 210 kilowatt motor in the rear and the 80 kilowatt but 40 kilowatt usable in the front because of battery limitations 250 kilowatt this only has 210 kilowatt and I still don't know what the motors are I have to I put that in when I find out I have to ask some people um, but today we're going to do a range jet at 130 kilometers an hour I'm charging here at Ionity to 100% with the 85 in March, I don't know when, at 10 to uh, uh, 8 to 10, 13 degrees, something like this. I got only 300 kilometers of range. Uh, it was, like I said, not very warm. Today it's going to be 20 to 25 degrees or something, so way colder, uh, warmer. Uh, but I'm excited to drive this car. Enyaq is always nice to drive and it looks amazing. Look at this beautiful color. I don't know if you can see how beautiful and shiny and poppy this red is. And when I had the blue version, when I had the 80X back in the day, there was also an amazing color. It looks amazing. What a beautiful color. Why do I get, don't get this on my ID7? That blue or that red? I would so want it that. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I'm at Ionity, two chargers, again the display doesn't work and yes, Ionity put a sticker on there, if the display doesn't work, it's so amazing, uh, uh, just press stop to char stop charging, but if the display doesn't work, you don't know which button is for stop, so if you don't charge at Ionity all the time and know that the middle button is stop, you're screwed. <laughs> I am on me way, I'm driving 133 on the speedometer, that's 130 real speed, here is the cockpit, here's the beautiful head-up display, and here's my beautiful infotainment system. Yep, I started with 100%, I, my drive mode is in normal, as it is when you just get into the car, it will, always been, it will be reset to normal. And my climate is on 19 degrees, no AC and no heat. So right now I'm consuming as less as possible. With temperature outside 20 degrees. Um, I'm on the A3 stretch going from south to north, which should be extremely busy because it's uh, September 1st. That means a lot of people are coming home from holidays and yes but i'm driving here extremely early and for the for 550 60 70 i don't even know kilometers and then i turn around and then north to south it shouldn't be any problem and then i even go uh, east to west to direction of munich which shouldn't be any problem so it's just the first first hour or so or even less 45 minutes god damn i don't know my stuff why do i even talk <laughs> and yes so we'll we'll see um how the traffic is so far it's it's okay it's busy but i can drive i'm okay with it I am at 75%, used 25% of my battery and I drove 85 kilometers. That would mean a full range of 340 kilometers. And remember, the normal 85 did it, did 300 kilometers, but it was way colder and the heat on and everything. So it's always hard to compare. Drive so far is good, I haven't changed anything. It's busy, but not extremely busy. I'm fine. It's uh, 18 and a half degrees out there. It got colder. I don't know how, but it did. 
someone's driving ex amazingly on my tail. Uh, it's nice that I have my driving data in here and here if I need to. It's always nice. Breakfast time. I have my coffee, <laughs> American Coke, and I have breakfast. I'm in a nice car driving. It's nice outside. I have the sun so you can see me. Otherwise, you can't see me. Uh, can't be better than this, eh? As always, how is it to drive the Skoda Enyaq 85X? And there's no difference, especially on, a, on with 130 on the highway, than to the normal Enyaq or even the old Enyaq. This is comfortable, this is quiet, this is nice. The cruise control works really nice. I have the distance on as low as possible, so it doesn't slow me down when I get a bit close to a car that I have to pass. Because in Germany, you have to get a bit closer before you go out. Otherwise, there are people coming way faster than you and you don't want to slow them down and make it all dangerous. Self-steering is also great on the highway, even on the country road, it's fine. Um, the only thing, and it's again with every Enyaq, and it's, it's very sad, is then in ID4, 5, I'm guessing 3. It's been a while since I drove an ID3 with travel assist. Um, the steering recognizes my touch when it's just with a light touch with my comfortable position and it knows, hey, you're here, I don't have to warn you to touch the steering wheel. The Enyaq does. It, and I, every time I'm like, is it a movement of the steering wheel? Is it that I touch? So I touch around, nothing happens. I steer sometimes and sometimes the steering helps sometimes the pressing helps so i don't know <laughs> which one it is i guess it's the touch because uh, why should it be different here than in other meb platform cars doesn't make any sense um, yes but it it uh, when i'm driving my comfort a, a lot of times i get the warning please touch the steering wheel and then uh, that's the only thing i have to say is not the most amazing. Other than that, it's great. Head-up display is amazing. Sound system is good. I'm enjoying a bit of Cannibal Corpse in here. Metal! I'm at 50%, drove 172 kilometers, so 344 kilometers of full range. Consumption is around the same, so the, the state of charge is pretty linear. The thing I don't like, and I have it in my ID7 as well, so with 50% I drove 170 kilometers, and it says range, <clears throat> I still have 20, 220. So 50 kilometers more that if I would drive with the same range, that uh, same consumption that I have now, that I estimate because of the first 50%. Um, and I, uh, I don't know, I don't like that. <laughs> if it's 20 kilometers, I'm okay with that, but 50 is a bit much if the, the, the difference is so much. Uh, average speed is fine, 127, that's awesome. Average consumption, 218, it's not that low. Still no AC, still no heat, everything's fine. 19 degrees out there, it's awesome. It's a nice drive um, and maybe I'm pretty, uh, I'm hopeful. I don't need the AC till after the charging session for the next uh, uh, range test. For this, it should be fine. I navigated back to the charger and it says 102 kilometers and I should arrive with 10%. We'll see if this stays the same. Um, 
and I already know the kilometers because I measured everything out. It should be 328 kilometers at the end. Um, looks like the call will show 326 instead of 328. That's fine. Consumption is 218. So pretty constant so far, but normally on the way back here it goes down. We'll see. <laughs> and yeah, I'm at 35%. Everything is good. Drive is nice. I uh, like it. Weather is nice. 22 degrees now. I have the, the air vents at me with the colder air, but still no AC on or anything. If you need a charging solution through a country within Europe or through all of Europe, then check out Mangau Autostrom. With Mangau, you can charge at over 550,000 charging stalls all over Europe. You can start your charging session with the app, with a card or with this tiny little chip that you can have on your keychain. It's so light and you always have it with you. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. I arrived with 7% and uh, drove 325 kilometers. Consumption average is 215 watt hours per kilometer. I'm filming a little charging session here as I always do it now, which is awesome and it's way easier for me. I have a suction cup and then a GoPro down here, which does time lapse, and then I have to cover it up with this thing, otherwise, you can't see anything on the screen of Ionity. And nice here, this is the only charger of those four which has a display, the rest is all dark. Google Maps tells me it was 328 kilometers that I've driven, not the 325 that the car shows me. And when I take that I used 93%, I get to a full range of 352 kilometers. In these conditions, um, no AC, no heat uh, with the all-wheel drive version. Yes, the, the normal just rear-wheel drive had 300 kilometers of range, but it was cold and it used the heat. Um, when you have uh, an all-wheel drive version, even though the motor is not doing too much when you drive a constant speed, you still have a bit of loss and therefore higher consumption. That's just how it is. That's normal. Um, but it was a great drive. It was a great thing. I'm going to charge to 90% here and then I'm going to the other side and do the same test but with 110. <laughs> And what a beautiful car. That was a nice thing. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BatteryLife1. And if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes of this channel, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.